Let's talk about being awesome. It's easy to think that awesomeness is a thing you build up, a point you train to reach, even something unattainable. You want to set goals and surpass them, always trying to sort of step into the shoes of a better version of yourself. Now, I think this is a trap. I think it confuses productivity and success, however you want to define those, with being rad. Failure isn't just permitted, it's necessary. It makes us who we are. We need room for that in order to grow. Some people say being awesome is just natural. It builds up inside you until you can't contain it anymore. One day you just have an epiphany and you do what stars do best. Shine. Now I find this really tempting. It undercuts a lot of the work involved. But it also means there's a line. You cross a threshold and now you're awesome. And if you step back past that, you can fall out of that. And that to me is weird. Of course, there's a temptation to think that awesome doesn't come from you at all, right? It comes from other people. The way that they see it, the way that they rely on you, the way that they say it, either with words or actions. I think we all feel that. There's that sense of being seen, but it opens this question of can we be awesome on our own? And the answer, I think, is clearly yes. Right? You are awesome when you are alone, when there is no one around, even in the dark. I think awesome is every day. It's shepherding moments. It's doing what you can. Getting out of bed in the morning. Doing the dishes. Just a hundred tiny things every day. Right? Every second is a chance to step up. Every minute is a second chance. G. Willow Wilson, she wrote Miss Marvel, uh, probably put it best there when she said, good isn't a thing you are, it's a thing you do. I think this is the same. Stay awesome.